Welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. Got an email from a very lucky man, Steve T. He got himself a new lift for the holidays and a scissor jack. He's so excited. He doesn't have to work off the floor anymore. And he's really happy. But he also emailed me and said, Doc, it's the first time having a lift and a scissor jack, and I want to service my front and rear end. How do I securely raise the front end? Great to ask questions if you've got that kind of seriousness that you're going to do to your motorcycle. Because you want to do it safely. That is the key to this video. Do it safely. All right, we're going to concentrate on lifting the front end on this video. All right, so you've got the motorcycle on the lift. You've got the chalk all tight here. You want to secure your motorcycle by securing it with these. Now, I get that question a lot. Where do I put this? Okay, first thing I want to talk about is soft ties. Buy yourself some soft ties. I say at least four, okay? These help you put it almost anywhere. On a dresser, soft tail, anybody with an engine guard, I put it here, all right? If it doesn't have an engine guard, you can put a soft tie around the frame on top or around the floorboards, and then you can hook up your strap to it, all right? You want a secure place. I've seen some people strap here, all right, I'm not a big fan of it because you are so close to the painted items. Plus, when you jack it up, this gets loose. I like to strap something that's going to stay solid. Some people do it up here at the handlebars. But the minute you let this out, then things can go side to side on it, and I want something solid on it. Okay, so choose where it can be solid. Use a soft strap. Now, I like these straps. They have a built-in soft strap. That's a pretty cool idea, and we've used these at the Harley shop here. And so I can put this, and I like doing it a couple of times around so it doesn't slide down, and then hook it up, and then pull it tight. All right, and I don't want it on the side. I want it close to the middle. I want it secure. All right, so I've chosen the location where I'm going to put my straps, and they're secure right now. Not really bone tight, just secure, okay? First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in gear. I want to help at least stop it from rolling back. I also went to a hardware place and I bought a chuck. All right, it's a simple little rubber chuck, but it just gives me one more security behind. If you really want to keep being secure with your motorcycle, strap it on the rear too. And if you can be straight up and down, bringing it to the back allows the motorcycle to move a little bit further. I like to have it almost as straight up and down as possible. That brings up to your own personal lift. Go to the hardware store and get these little eyelets, all right? They have eyelets with bolts that go down and you put double nuts on it. Put one here on each side. Put one back there on each side. So you've got a place that you can secure it to, all right? Most lifts come with one of these, but if it doesn't, put it on there, all right? You can hook it, you can drill holes, I guess, and put it on here, but I like it here. So I've got it strapped. I've got it in first or second gear, all right? I'm not rotating the, to get any higher. I just want first, second gear. Got my chalk in the back, so it's in gear. It's going to at least give me an idea that I've got some safety if it happened to roll back. All right, so now in lifting this, what I do is I undo the strap just a little bit on both sides. And remember, you have one on both sides. Had a young technician once have it on both sides. He doesn't do this side, go up, 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 up. Forgot he had it on the other side. <sharp inhale> Got to remember, both sides. Just give a little bit of slack. Then I'm going to put my jack. I should have put the jack in earlier on this, okay? Put your jack in while you got your straps on tight, all right? Find a place underneath. Now, I put this jiffy stand here as a false hope of if it rolls, it's going to stop on the jack, all right? If it's already rolling, I'm not sure that's going to help, but I like it, and it's out of the way. Sometimes this can be in the way when you're trying to jack up. Find a flat spot on the frame that goes. If you could see, there is a weld crossover here on this soft tail here. I don't want the jack halfway on that and halfway on a flat spot. I need it even on both sides of it. Now that I've chosen a secure place, and if you're doing a friend's bike, check underneath, please. On older bikes, a lot of guys ran the regulator wire on the bottom of the frame. 
boy, that can start some sparks if you start jacking up and crush that wire. Also, a lot of you guys are putting lights underneath your frames, and that can crush and ruin a day. So take a look underneath. Make sure there are no wires and no lights before you slide a jack underneath. Now that I got the jack, I'm going to loosen my strap, and I'm going to jack the motorcycle up and watch the suspension. All right? When the suspension stops moving, I'm at the end of my suspension. I've still got my strap a little bit loose. I'm going to tighten that up on both sides. And then I'm going to loosen this, not all the way, just enough to keep some tension on it. Then I'm going to loosen my strap a little bit. And I'm going to jack up some more. I start hearing the tire. You know that rubber sound against metal? You can start hear it starting to work up. Come back around, look underneath. When you see daylight, not a whole lot. You just want it just barely off. Tighten your straps down. Undo. Now this is secure. You've got your jack, you've got your straps, they're tight. This is just off the ground. Undo your axle, pop it out. Now, when you roll your front, now if you've got a stop like this one, you pull the stop out, of course. When you roll this forward, it's not gonna clear the fender. So you're gonna have to take your time again. You're gonna undo this just a little bit. Rotate, little bit, rotate, little bit, until this gets high enough to pass the peak of the tire. Pull it out. Change your tire, do whatever you're going to do, clean your wheel, whatever. And then, if you're putting a brand new tire on a wheel and you're putting it in, you're going to find out the brand new tire is taller than what you did when you pulled it out. So you're going to have to do the same thing. Loosen a little bit, jack one turn, see if it makes. Loosen a little bit, jack it up. When you get it there, pull it down. Have it tight so you've got it secure. Roll it back in. Now, when you're coming back down, it's a slow process because this is the, one of the most dangerous places because one, you've got to undo your straps, you've got to bring it down, and the clamp isn't ready to clamp yet. So bring your wheel down, undo the straps on both sides, bring your wheel down, watch your suspension at the same time. When you get your tire down and you start seeing the suspension starting to come down, that's the time to tighten this up, but not fully. You want it just tight enough that it's got the wheel. Then watch your suspension. Bring it down. And when your suspension stops, there, that's the time. Hunker down. Bring your straps down. Get it tight. Now you can bring your jack out. And this is secure. Your jack is in here. Now you're ready to undo and take your bike off. Safety is the number one thing. Take your time. Don't get in a big rush. Don't try to do this before dinner or you got to go that, that morning to a ride or something like that. Take your time. This is something that you have to be sure of when you're doing it because there's a lot of weight here that you want balanced, you want it secure, and you want it right when you're raising it up and bringing it down. I am so excited for you, Steve, that you got yourself a lift and a jack so you can do this, but take your time. And I suggest for the very first time, have a friend nearby. Have a friend, watch what you're doing. So he can say, hey, do you remember the strap on the other side? Are you watching the suspension? Let me watch the suspension for you. Let me help you. On that first try, maybe a second pair of eyes can be a big help. Hope this helped you. Thank you for the email, Steve. Good luck in your servicing in 2021. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.